Hey guys, it's Z here back with another tutorial and I hope you all are doing great. So guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make these two smooth transitions in CapCut. So yeah, without further wasting any time, let's begin. So guys, open your CapCut and get your clips ready. Make sure that the first clip that you use is of like two beats long and then the second clip, just put it above it and make sure that it's a bit long than one beat. As you can see here, next just select both of the clips and then just zoom in so that they can fit the ratio. Now what you have to do is start giving them the keyframes. So select the first clip and then give it a scale keyframe at the starting and one where the next clip starts. Now go at the starting and then just zoom in. Now go to the next keyframe and then give it a X and Y keyframe there too. Then select the upper clip and then give it the scale and X and Y keyframe at the starting. Now you also have to mask it. So you have to go to mask, then click on horizontal or split. Then you have to rotate it to 90 degree and then just mask it like this and then just feather it. Now go back to basic and then just drag it aside just like this. Now what you have to do next is select both of these clips and then go at the ending. Now drag them just like this and then if you want to add zoom in you can just select the borders and then just drag it. So there you have it you can just zoom this too. So just do this and after this, you just only need to add the graphs and then you'll be done with this transition. Now for the graphs, what you need to do is select the first clip, open the keyframe animation, then give the graph line to the first keyframe and then move it down just like this. Then give graph line to the second keyframe. Make sure to give it the second one. Then just do the same things as I'm doing here. Now just move it a little bit forward uh, like this. Then for the third keyframe, just give it the graph line and then just make sure that the blue lines end at the next beat like this. Now you have to do this same graph for X and Y too. Like make sure wherever this uh, graph line ends for the X and Y, it should be the same. Like, let me show you how. So like it ends here. Now I'll open the X keyframe, then give it the graph line and then make sure that it's on the same uh, frame as the first one. The same I'll do with the Y2 and then for the above clip you have to do the same again. And for this second keyframe you have to do the same like wherever this blue line ends make sure that the X and Y's blue line end there too. You guys know what I mean here right? I can't explain it much so just understand it. Like the graph should be equal as like if you do it a little bit down or up it will be messed up and it won't be that much smooth. Now for the upper clip, just do the same. Open the keyframe animation and then the same graphs as you did with the lower clip, you have to do the same and make sure that the blue line ends at the same place as the first one. I checked it multiple times here to make sure that it's smooth. If you don't do it like if, even if it's like one frame aside, it won't be smooth. So make sure to do the same things as I'm doing. And after like doing the graphs, what you have to do is like, make sure that it's clean like it looks smooth if it's not smooth that means you have messed up the graphs you have to do them again so after this you just need to like compound clip this and then you have to give it motion blur but before we do that we're gonna move on to the next transition let's just straight get into it all right guys so this next transition is called seamless transition i don't know what people call it i just heard it somewhere else so i just call it seamless transition so for this transition, you'll need two clips and make sure that the first clip matches the second one. Like here you can see, I'll just zoom in on the face. So for this transition, first of all, what you need to do is export the first frame of the next clip, just like this, and then change the ratio back to whatever you were on and then make sure that the clips fit the ratio. Now for the first clip, you need to give it some scale keyframe, one at the starting and one almost at the middle, just like here. Now you have to zoom in. So after this, you need to add the first frame that you just exported, then split it on the next beat and put it right above this keyframe, then give it scale keyframe and X and Y keyframe at the starting, then also at the end. Now go at the starting and then you have to zoom it out and like you have to make sure that it looks exactly as the face, just like this. You have to manually adjust it from your screen. So I'll just do that here. And after adjusting that, you have to go at the next keyframe and then just zoom in like it should match the next clip like this. Then you have to move this uh, picture aside and then give the keyframe to the lower clip, 
just zoom in like at the ending and make sure that it kind of looks like it's switching on to the next clip like it's zooming in just like me you have to adjust it manually so you have to do that and next what we're gonna do is we're gonna mask the upper clip that picture so go to mask and give it circle you have to go at the ending and then you have to zoom in the mask like this much and then feather it a little now give it the masking keyframe there then go at the starting and then just make it like this small then you have to feather there a little bit more now you just need to like give the graph and then you'll be done with this transition too so for the graphs you just need to adjust them like give it the graph line and then just leave it there to the first keyframe and then you have to do the same for scale mask and everything and same for the lower clip too then for the next clip you just only have to do a simple zoom in add a scale keyframe to the charting then go at the ending and then just zoom in there now for the graphs open the keyframe animation give the second keyframe the graph line and then just drag it straight just like this and there you have it you're done with this now the last thing that you can do this to make it more smooth is like Select both of these clips and then just compound clip them. Now go to basic, then drag down and click on motion blur. Then you can just keep it at like around 70 or 100. That will be good. And like if there is more movement to the clip, you can just reduce it to 30 or 20. That will look good. And like there you have it. Today, this is what I taught you, these two transitions. I hope you guys understood it. See you guys in another video. Till then, bye-bye.